How do you guys think I look in glasses? These are my new blue light glasses. So they are supposed to like protect your eyes from blue light. So blue light is the kind of bad light that you get from screens and whatnot. Which is why people always say like when you're working for a long time on the computer or whatever, it's good to give your eyes a break. And people say you need to stay away from the screens like an hour before bed so you have like a good sleep. And you all know sleep is super important to me. But the thing I just absolutely love doing is going to my room, switching off, but like it's my time to watch shows on my laptop before going to bed. I'm really into like true crime sort of stuff. So that's sort of like what I've been watching before going to bed. And I like to watch it till I fall asleep, really. So um, I'm hoping with these, I can just like kind of put them on and then lay down and watch shows till I fall asleep and the blue light won't affect like my eyes or my sleep quality. But really, I just thought maybe they'd be kind of cute, maybe a little bit smarter. I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel about them. But so far, I'm liking them. I do have like a really small nose. So like, when I was watching TV with them yesterday, they're kind of like falling down to here. <laughs> so, um, yeah, let me know what you think of my glasses. What's going on guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today it is Wednesday the 8th of July. I've just finished a whole morning of clients. I'm, like I said, in between gyms. So I'm training a bunch of clients at Culture, which I'm starting to really enjoy my new place of work, which is my regular place of training. Um, I managed to get my cardio done this morning. And then I came back to my home gym train another two clients and now I just want to show you guys a bunch of groceries that um, we've recently picked up. I was gonna lie and said that I did the grocery shopping, but I didn't. Luckily, Jeremy went to pick up the groceries, so I'm just gonna show you a few things that we got. So we have a mini grocery haul that's going to be happening right here. But um, yes, prep is going slow and so coach has given me yet another calorie slash um carb drop so my carbs have dropped on my normal low days from 230 grams to 190 grams of carbs now so yeah, so this is what I'm going to be eating. It's not going to be a whole lot, but I'm just going to show you a few things that we got. So like I said, this is a mini grocery haul. It is like a Wednesday. We normally do like a big shop, um, something on the weekend on Monday, but life has been really crazy hectic lately. I've been working seven days. Jeremy's been working heaps as well. So anyways, we've been working heaps. So not a lot of time to pick up lots of stuff. So let's get started. First item that I got is a stir fried vegetable superfood blend that you can get from Woolies. When you don't have time, this is a really easy way to get your veggies in, um, especially if we're packing food to go to work in that we're gonna heat up in the microwave. You can literally just pop that in. If we have time at home, I like to make a stir fry with it. It's lots of volume. Um, they have carrot, red cabbage, wombok, kale, and broccoli stems in this mix. So this is one of my favorite mix from Woolies and one of the ones that I regularly put like in my client's meal plans as well. And I've been obsessed with these paste lately. So I've got lemongrass, which you all know I absolutely love cooking with. So I will use lemongrass to season my fish usually, um, but you can also do it for like um, your chicken and you can also use it to stir fry veggies together with some light soy sauce. Absolutely love, love, love lemongrass. I've also been really obsessed with um, garlic paste. So sometimes I just put the garlic paste like together with my rice um, or again with some stir fry veggies or whatever it may be, even with eggs. So all I do is I literally just squeeze the raw garlic like into my rice and um, all my eggs and I just, I just love eating it that way. And you know what? I think raw garlic is really, really good for you according to the Koreans. So um, yeah, 
garlic paste for that. I also really love this Italian herb blend. So I usually like to put this on my egg whites and sometimes like in my sandwiches or my wraps. So we've been really obsessed with um, wraps lately. Um, like I said, because we've got a little like sandwich press thing. So I like to make wraps and this is the wrap I use. It's a low GI wrap. It has high fiber, good amount of protein in there. And most importantly, the fat is pretty low. So the fat on this wrap is only 2.2 grams. Um, and as you know, my fats are super low. I'm on 35 grams of fat right now. So I really need to make sure I eat like super lean, super clean. And so for my wraps, this would be my wrap of choice. Um, again, good amount of fiber in there. And I'm really trying to up my fiber intake because ever since starting to diet, ever since stopping um, my 400 grams of carbs, I just haven't had a lot of bowel movement or as good bowel movement as I had when I was eating more. So I'm really, really trying to bump my fiber intake up. Do note that fiber is included in your total carb count. I recently got a question about this on my Instagram. So anyone here who is counting your calories, especially if you're from Australia and you don't include your fiber as your total um, grams of carb allowance you are eating too much you're eating extra and that could be the reason why your weight's not moving because um you're just eating extra carbs that you don't count because you think fiber does not count as a carb it does um so yeah but yeah i'm really trying to get my fiber up so i can get more regular bowel movement so those these wraps are really good for it this is pretty much what i've been eating most mornings a high fiber um wholemeal bread Again, I like to make toasties. I'll eat it um, either like with avocado. Um, I like to do like egg whites and turkey bacon. So that's like my go-to kind of breakfast right now. Jeremy loves um, doing ham toasties. So we have ham. Um, also, ham is super, super lean. So in a serving of this, which is half a packet, it's only 1.9 grams of fat. So ham, even though it is pork is a super super lean cut of pork so um again like we keep both of us have low fat so we're keeping everything super lean super clean and so um ham would be great to great in the toasties and in the wraps or sometimes i like to give this to my clients just as snacks because you don't have to worry about eating it cold it tastes good cold um you can eat it with like cucumber or like rice cakes um don't have to cook it you can eat it on the go really easy protein source and you all know this is a must have every morning. Both me and Jeremy have lots of egg whites. So I like to buy my egg whites in the carton because I feel really wasteful whenever I um, separate the eggs and then throw away the yolk. So with this, we can just have pure egg whites. And now, because I literally have no carbs, this is my lifesaver. So these are called shirataki noodles. I think it's been more popular these days amongst um just commercial sort of like supermarkets but these have been around in asian supermarkets for a long long time it's not a new thing it it just has been around for ages and i think many people just don't know about it but basically the shirataki noodles this whole packet over here is a total of six grams of carbs and it's all mainly coming from fiber so this is another way i like to get my fiber in right now um and it's a good way of getting lots and lots of volume. So what I would do is I get some of these, some of these, stir fry it with my protein of choice, maybe with some lemongrass, maybe with some garlic and some soy sauce. And we got a meal. So yeah, I'm super obsessed with these noodles. I specifically told Jeremy that this is like, when my carbs get got dropped, I'm like, look, I need this in my life. I'm gonna be eating more of these. So these are lifesavers and volume hacks. Last but not least, you know I love my barramundi, but um, Woolies is out of barramundi right now. So the next best thing would be um, king snapper portions. In one portion of this, it's 24 grams of protein, less than one gram of fat. So literally no fat in the snapper and two carbs. So again, fish is um, one of my favorite protein sources only because they're like super low fat. Um, the snapper tends to have a little bit more of a fishiest taste and smell compared to barramundi. So I would still highly recommend barramundi. 
but as I said, we are trying out our money, so we're gonna have to deal with Snapper for today. And the last protein source I've got Jeremy to pick up is Heart Smart Beef Mints. So these are super easy to cook up, and um, I love them. It's the 95% lean, 5% fat version from Woolies and in 100 grams of raw um, mints there's only 5 grams of fat so if you're looking for a nice lean mint you can go for this you can just cook the mint up by itself so I would just generally just um, stir fry it with my seasoning of choice um, I used to make them into burger patties you can literally do whatever you want with these make tacos um, but right now I just love having mints and rice just keeping it super simple super basic so yeah this is my little mini grocery haul like i said i'm eating it really simple and basic right now nothing too crazy nothing too fancy but yeah so these are all my lean but delicious items that you can get from your local woolies and if you're not from australia then um i don't know what the equivalent would be but i'm sure you can get something somewhat similar to these items you guys can't tell, but it's freaking raining and gloomy, and I'm so used to like training fasted. I really am just like not feeling my workout today. Plus, yesterday when I was training, I also felt a little bit of a sharp pain in my shoulder, so it's giving me a little bit of like anxiety, worrying about it. I think it should be fine. I kind of self rehabbed it. I've self rehabbed myself through a lot of injuries before. I did pop the shoulder out before in the past um so i know it's prone to like things like that um so i just like used the massage gun i got like anti-inflammatory teas i took a little bit more of my resilient supplement which i told you guys before is a very strong anti-inflammatory so i use those i don't use pharmaceutical anti-inflammatories so i took that um i also um rolled out with a little ball so i kind of stretched out like my chest area rolled that loosened up my trap and got right um, in my scapula and this is area just through behind like my rear delt kind of thing that I find like it's I don't know when I when I push it it's like really painful and I can feel um it refer over through to my shoulder so a lot of times when I have shoulder pain I know sometimes it's because the other area is getting a little bit tight so hopefully I'll be able to decently train shoulders today yesterday I did back and shoulders and I just took it easy um me being me i obviously still just train through it um but i was really really careful um i do take these things really seriously but at the same time i'm not one to back down so that's that so i have a little bit of anxiety about going into train today i'm supposed to be training glutes and shoulders also like my progress just hasn't really been going the way i've been wanting it to it's just been going real slow and um considering like such a big drop in my calories i think coach is just like a little bit confused and um just we just don't really know why my body is like that i just have a super adaptive metabolism which i've talked about many times before if you guys would like me to elaborate on that or talk more about it in a different vlog, let me know. I can tell you more about how my metabolism works. But ideally, in the off-season, can eat whatever the hell I want. And I'm not going to get super obese or anything. I may gain a few, uh, few kilos, but nothing crazy. And I can get away with eating a lot of food. Like, a lot of food. And um, I wouldn't be overly affected by it. But the um, opposite happens... So when I'm trying to lose weight, I have to push real, real, real hard. That every time for me to get lean, and I always get lean enough, so I know that I can do it. But it's just getting there is just so damn difficult. And I don't mind the grind. And I'm like, I really missed it when I was um, in my off season. I miss feeling the grind. Like I wanted to really get back into the shreds mode and like you know work hard, feel the hunger, feel the like just feel how difficult it is. It's just like this particular feeling, like um, you get when you're like prepping for a show, like and it's difficult. But like the shitter you feel, the better you look, and that's what I always tell myself. And you know that's i was really looking forward to that but there we've just so much uncertainty right now um this is the first time actually prepping through um like this at coronavirus times melbourne have just gone straight back into lockdown our borders are not open yet and i just really don't know if i will even be able to compete like one i don't even know if australia is having a bikini pro show it's all just like talk about it right now it's nothing set in stone 
New Zealand is set in stone but I don't know if we will be allowed to fly there still and obviously I still really want to compete in Singapore so I, I still have my plans but because it's just so uncertain um, this is like a whole nother challenge for me like working hard is never difficult for me I'm always 100% up for it I'm up for a challenge I'm not scared but just this uncertainty is something that's new and I guess last prep even though I didn't get to finish I was just like blissfully unaware that the Arnold was not gonna happen that was just not even anything like in my brain like it did that I didn't even think that was possible that I you know the Arnold's could be cancelled so you know, I was just blissfully unaware and so I was able to get through the whole prep and then it just kind of like hit me. One week out is not happening, you know. So, yeah, this is the first time where I've had to push through the prep knowing that, you know, we may not get the chance. And I'm always trying really hard to be positive and stuff, but just basically because of what's been happening in Melbourne right now, um... Just put me in not the best headspace. So I wanted to record this. This kind of stuff probably only happens like once in a, last, a lifetime. You know, um, this whole corona thing obviously is super brand new. I wanted to record how it feels like to push myself not really knowing why I'm pushing myself and why I'm suffering when I don't even know whether I'll be able to get on stage. But I'm so, so, so desperate to compete and get back on stage. Like, just, that's just all I want. Um, and I'm so keen that I'm not even worried about, like, what my placing and stuff is going to be. I just really want everyone and the judges to see me on stage at my very best. And it just really breaks my heart that no one got to see what I created, like, um, just before Arnold. And, like, you know, even though my coach saw videos and photos of me, like, he didn't even get to see me in real life. And I just, you know, that's something that I just really want, um, I feel, because... Yeah, I don't know. I just want to make my debut, really. I just want to be in front of the judges. I want any of the pro judges to see me for the first time, know who I am, hopefully remember my name, and just for everyone to see this little five-foot blonde Asian with my blue bikini. Yes, I'm going to be wearing blue um, on stage, giving my best because, like, I've grinded through the prep, and I just want everyone to see the final package, the final product, and that's what I really want. And I'm gonna get emotional if I continue talking about it, but yeah, this today I was just, like, I didn't, my weight didn't budge from yesterday, even though I had a calorie drop, and you know, then all the news about Melbourne, and everything has kind of hit me like a big truck, and it's raining today, like I said, my mood is like heavily affected by the weather, I don't know why, it's just how it is. So I'm trying my best to stay positive. Like, I was able to get out of my funk once I started training clients this morning. It put me in such a better mood already. I love my job and I love my clients. And um, the fact that, you know, they always tell me and encourage me and just, like, tell me how much I inspire them and motivate them. And it pushes me to want to be better, want to do better. And I'm really thankful and grateful for that. And I'm really thankful and grateful that WA is not in lockdown. So, i got to stay positive. I'm going to go in and smash my workout right now. I may or may not film a little bit for you. Um, and then we'll see how we go. But, yeah, I had a low moment today. Just wanted to let you know. Just wanted to let you know that I'm pulling myself out of that. And I'm trying to stay positive. Drank some pre-workout. And I'm going to go crush it. And I'm hoping to see some progress by the end of the week. Good morning everyone, it is the next day now 
and I ended up having a pretty good workout yesterday. I didn't have too much shoulder pain. It was a little bit uncomfortable to do the pressing, but I was actually able to front raise, do my lateral raises and rear delt. So um, that was good, that went well. And this morning we woke up with a new low weigh-in. So I'm feeling a little bit better. Um, just watching the news and updates and stuff and hearing what people have been saying. Um, not looking great with regards to travel at the end of the year but you never know um they're still pushing to allow other states to go into new zealand i'm um, just not victoria so i'm in wa and we're pretty good here at the moment so i mean in, i'm in perth western australia um so you know i, I still don't know i just want to keep going i just really want to get leaner anyways so i'm just going to focus on treating this as a cut um, six more weeks till Victoria comes out of lockdown and I'm sure we'll hear more news um, at that time about what the plans are going forward, if we'll be allowed to travel, even if there is even a pro show that's going to be happening in Australia. So um, still a lot of uncertainties, but I'm glad that I achieved a whole, a new low weigh in. I'm glad I pushed through yesterday and I'm glad my shoulder is feeling much better. So. Yeah, thanks for following along my journey. I'm going to end today's vlog here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, please drop me a like and please, please subscribe to my channel. Um, we've grown quite a bit um, this past month and I'm so, so thankful for all of you um, who continue to support me by subscribing. Like I said, it really helps me a lot just by hitting that subscribe button and it motivates me to continue making more videos. I have a big day of work today. My first client will be at 8 a.m. Um, and I will finish up my day at 8 p.m. after the sub store. So, big day of work today. I'm gonna be training back and shoulders. Yep, shoulders again. Back and shoulders today. And um, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated on the situation. See you in the next one.